Triple H speaks on Chad Gable re-signing with WWE. A popular superstar changes her name after Clash at the Castle. Real reasons why Drew McIntyre lost at WWE Clash at the Castle. WWE fans take out their anger on Samantha Irvin. CM Punk threatens Drew McIntyre after costing him a title again. Triple H reacts to Damian Priest's injury at Clash at the Castle. Drew McIntyre's loss causes massive controversy. Let's dive right in. Real reasons why Drew McIntyre lost at WWE Clash at the Castle. WWE superstar Drew McIntyre came ridiculously close to winning the World Heavyweight Championship at Clash at the Castle in Glasgow, Scotland, where he challenged Damian Priest for the title. Unfortunately for the Scottish warrior, CM Punk had other plans. McIntyre and Priest locked horns in an intense bout that saw both superstars push each other to their limits. However, a mishap took out the match official for some time, leaving room for a jaw-dropping interference from Punk. The Second City Saint made an unadvertised appearance on the show and blew McIntyre's chances of finishing his story. Here, we look at five reasons Drew McIntyre lost his title match against Damian Priest for the World Heavyweight Championship at WWE Clash at the Castle 2024. So, without further ado, Let's begin. Number one, feud with CM Punk continues. Although CM Punk has largely spent time away from the ring recovering from his injury since his return, Drew McIntyre frequently mentions him on WWE Raw. The Scottish warrior has continued to take shots at the best in the world, which has again backfired against him. Previously, CM Punk helped end McIntyre's World Heavyweight Championship reign at WrestleMania XL and later cost him a title opportunity on Raw. Punk attacking Drew McIntyre to prevent him from picking up his fairy tale victory in front of the home crowd will add more intensity to their feud. Number two, avoid predictability at WWE Clash at the Castle. Drew McIntyre came close to winning the world title at Clash at the Castle 2022, where he challenged Roman Reigns. He lost the match due to the interference of Solo Sikoa, who made his main roster debut on the show. Many expected the Scottish warrior to get his moment at Clash at the Castle this year. There is no denying that McIntyre was the top favorite to walk out with the World Heavyweight Championship from the recently concluded Premium Live event. Booking his loss against Damian Priest in their latest title bout allowed WWE to pull off a massive twist that serves two storylines. Number three, Drew McIntyre's title chase continues. Drew McIntyre technically had Damian Priest pinned to the mat for over 10 seconds. The crowd counted for the hometown hero while the match official was knocked out. This allowed CM Punk to enter the ring, posing as a referee, and hit McIntyre with a low blow, enabling Priest to capitalize. Although many WWE superstars have urged McIntyre to accept responsibility for his losses, he is deservedly frustrated with outside interferences costing him big title victories. Losing another match, especially on such a platform, would turn the Scotsman vicious, and we may see him walk out to broken dreams on Raw after Clash at the castle. Number four, the importance of the Judgment Day. Drew McIntyre defeated Finn Balor this past Monday to get the Judgment Day barred from ringside. Interestingly, Damian Priest had spent the last few weeks repeatedly claiming he did not need the heel stable to help retain his World Heavyweight Championship. However, things were very different for the champion at Clash at the Castle. The Archer of Infamy being pinned for more than 10 seconds could be an argument in favor of the Judgment Day. The rest of the group can question Damian Priest the next time he criticizes them for losses, especially Finn Balor. McIntyre was protected in defeat, and he may go after the title again. However, Priest potentially has to watch his back, with the Judgment Day seemingly heading towards implosion. Number five, poetic ending with Money in the Bank. Drew McIntyre has openly expressed his disdain for the Money in the Bank briefcase in the past. His past two world championship reigns ended unceremoniously after successful cash-ins, first by The Miz in 2021, and then by Damian Priest this year. Triple H could be secretly working on a poetic story that will see Drew McIntyre finally win the world championship using the Money in the Bank contract. His recent loss at Clash at the Castle would push the Scottish warrior to the back of the line, leaving him desperate to get his title shot by any means. This would make him one of the strongest contenders in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match on the namesake show next month. WWE fans take out their anger on Samantha Irvin. WWE fans in Scotland were furious at the finish to Clash at the Castle 2024 and even responded harshly to Samantha Irvin's parting message to the crowd with a brutal chant after the show went off the air. The finish of Clash at the Castle 2024 left a lot to be desired for many, but it infuriated the local Glasgow fans as they were hoping to see their home country hero, Drew McIntyre, walk out with the World Heavyweight Championship. Instead, 
An interference by CM Punk once again cost the Scotsman, who suffered a second main event loss at Clash at the Castle, with the last one happening in 2022 against Roman Reigns. This time, it was against Damian Priest. When Clash at the Castle 2024 went off the air, Samantha Irvin said that she knew that the night didn't end the way fans wanted to, but thanked them for two amazing nights in the arena as a parting message. The furious crowd chanted BS to Samantha Irvin's announcement and continued to boo. The other clip saw Drew McIntyre getting into an altercation with Corey Graves, and it was Wade Barrett who had to calm him down enough to stop what he was doing. Barrett escorted McIntyre out of the main stage. The fallout from the main event is likely going to be intense. What lies ahead for McIntyre is yet to be seen, but big things might be coming. CM Punk threatens Drew McIntyre after costing him a title again. CM Punk has claimed that a popular WWE superstar will never win the World Heavyweight Championship while he is in the company. The 45-year-old returned to the promotion at Survivor Series 2023 after being fired by All Elite Wrestling last year. Damian Priest successfully defended the World Heavyweight Championship against Drew McIntyre in the main event of Clash at the Castle. CM Punk got involved after WWE referee Eddie Orengo was knocked out of the ring. Priest capitalized on the distraction to pick up the pinfall victory and retain his title. Speaking at the press conference following the PLE, Punk stated that McIntyre will never win the title as long as he is in the company. No animosity towards Drew McIntyre for the injury. The animosity comes from being gleeful about it. He said he prayed for it. Now I am going to pray on him. And he's never going to ever be a champion here as long as I live. Not as long as we are on the same brand. Not as long as we are in the same company. As long as there is air in my lungs, Drew McIntyre is never, and I promise you, and it is not a promise that he made, the empty promise to his wife who is sick, who I really hope is okay, by the way. I promise him he is never going to be a champion ever again, said Punk. Triple H reacts to Damian Priest's injury at Clash at the Castle. Triple H commented on a popular WWE star's injury following Clash at the Castle 2024. The premium live event took place in front of a lively crowd in Glasgow, Scotland today. Damian Priest defended his World Heavyweight Championship against Drew McIntyre in the main event of Clash at the Castle. The referee got knocked out during the match, and CM Punk interfered. The Archer of Infamy was able to capitalize to escape with the title. However, the veteran got his ankle tied up in the ropes early in the match and might have been injured. Speaking at the press conference following Clash at the Castle, Triple H commented on the injury, and noted that nobody leaves a WWE event completely healthy. I've been in that situation before where, you know, it is a full contact sport. The injury rate is 100%. No one gets out unscathed. They might have a long run of it, but you are going to leave here with some issues, with some aches and pains. It is just part of the game, but it is part of what we do and why we love it, he said. The King of Kings added that he hopes Priest is okay, and there is always a risk when people step inside a WWE ring. When I saw that happen to Damian Priest, my heart jumped out of my chest. I didn't see any way that he wasn't injured, and when I got word that he says he is fine, which adrenaline is a hell of a drug, I'm really hoping when I leave here I am going to get good news, because while he is walking around okay now, I'm sure adrenaline is carrying him through that. There is such a fine line between what we do being safe and what we do not being safe, he added. Drew McIntyre's loss causes massive controversy. A popular WWE star got angry with Triple H's actions following the controversial end to the clash at the Castle Premium Live event. The name in question is Wade Barrett. World Heavyweight Champion Damian Priest defended his title against Drew McIntyre in the main event of the show. The two performers put forth an engaging back and forth battle before CM Punk, dressed as a referee, made his way to the ring. The best in the world helped the Archer of Infamy retain the championship. Wade Barrett, one of the commentators calling the action at the premium live event, was visibly upset with CM Punk costing McIntyre the title in front of his home crowd. Speaking during the post-show press conference, the former Intercontinental Champion called out the Second City Saint for his actions, while demanding the latter to be thrown out of the building. We have a guy in CM Punk who has materially derailed the show. A massive show. It was the biggest arena gate of all time, as we just learned. He derailed it. He derailed a World Heavyweight Championship match, the dreams of millions of Scottish people, and, of course, Drew McIntyre. He should have been thrown out of the building, or in fact, he should be thrown out for his own safety first of all, he said. He further questioned Triple H for not only inviting Punk to the press conference, but also for whatever good. The game had to say about the Second City Saint. 
To have the leader of this industry, the leader of WWE, a man who I have consistently respected, Triple H, come out and answer these issues with quotes like, I'm happy to have Phil Brooks back. This is the Phil Brooks I want to see. Thrilled and excited to work with him. And here's the real kicker. Thank you, CM Punk, for helping change the culture behind the scenes at WWE. I cannot respect any of that. That is nonsense. The man is poison. In the second match of the night, Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair defended the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship against the Unholy Union and the team of Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark. Scottish stars Isla Dawn and Alba Fire pulled off a surprise win much to the crowd's delight. Triple H took to X after the match to congratulate the Unholy Union, referring to the win as a massive statement-making one. The former world champion also shared a backstage photo with the new champions. The victory marks Unholy Union's first ever title win on the main roster. It remains to be seen how long they will keep their hands on the gold. A popular superstar changes her name after Clash at the Castle. A popular WWE superstar has seemingly decided to change her name following Clash at the Castle, Scotland. Bailey put her WWE Women's Championship on the line against Piper Niven at the Premium Live event in Glasgow, Scotland. Chelsea Green got involved in the WWE Women's Championship match at Clash at the Castle, Scotland before the referee kicked her out from ringside. She showed up again in disguise, wearing a luchador mask. But referee Charles Robinson was not fooled. Bailey got angry and knocked Green off the ring apron. She then hurled the former women's tag team champion into the barricade before returning to the ring. Green took to social media following the premium live event and hilariously gave herself a new name, Chelsea Verde she wrote. Despite the interference by the 33-year-old, Niven was unable to defeat the role model. Bailey picked up the pinfall victory and is still the reigning WWE Women's Champion. Wrestling legend Dutch Mantel is a fan of Chelsea Green and believes the 33-year-old is incredibly talented. Speaking on a recent episode of Sports Kita Wrestling's Smack Talk show, Mantel put over both Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. The veteran noted that he met Green while he was with TNA and said that she was a talented performer. Mantel added that Green was great with pro and probably had more skills on the mic than inside the ring. Piper Niven is fastly becoming my favorite female wrestler. Her and Chelsea Green, it's easy to work with them. Chelsea Green, when she did this, like, cut your throat, I burst out laughing, and I very seldom do that. I met her in TNA and she's got a lot of talent. And even away from the ring, she's got it. She got more talent away from that ring, I think, than in it. That was a very good show, said Mantel. Chelsea Green and Piper Niven put together an impressive reign as women's tag team champions in 2023. It will be interesting to see what is next for the unlikely duo following Niven's loss at Clash at the Castle, Scotland. Triple H speaks on Chad Gable re-signing with WWE. Chad Gable's WWE contract was expiring and fans wondered what he would end up doing next. Ultimately, he chose to re-sign with WWE and competed at Clash at the Castle, and now Triple H has addressed Chad Gable's decision to stick with the WWE. While speaking during the post-Clash at the Castle press conference, Triple H talked about Chad Gable re-signing with the WWE. The game praised Chad Gable, calling him an amazing performer he hopes will stay with WWE indefinitely. The game made it clear he wanted Gable to be seen by a wide audience and to leave the company as healthy as possible. Talking about the positive changes in the WWE environment, Triple H emphasized Gable's role in those changes and expressed relief that Gable chose to remain with the company. Triple H acknowledged that if Gable had left, he would have wished him success, recognizing that such decisions are part of the business, but would have been sad as well for him to go. While he refrained from divulging the specifics of their conversations, he expressed joy that Gable considers WWE his home. Triple H concluded by celebrating the collective effort and camaraderie within the organization. The truth is, he's Chad Gable, an amazing performer, and I would like for him to be here forever and be seen by the most people, leave here as healthy as possible. The environment has changed, and he is part of the change, so I would have been sad if he was here all this time and went elsewhere. I would have wished him incredible success wherever he went. That's part of the game. As far as the conversations we had, that's not mine to talk about. I'm just thrilled here's home where he should be. We're all doing this together. That's what's great about this. Unfortunately for Chad Gable, he was unable to defeat Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship at Clash at the Castle. We'll have to see how his storyline with Otis and Sami Zayn will progress in the coming weeks. As it is clear, WWE has big plans for Gable. Do you feel Chad Gable will eventually become the Intercontinental Champion after re-signing with WWE? Let us know in the comments section below. 